With JCPS schools like Breckenridge Elementary shut down due to COVID-19, the district is trying to bring the classroom right to students' homes. But that goal comes with challenges. Our goal is to make sure that we move the kids forward. In the midst of a viral outbreak, kitchen tables have become desks and living rooms are now classrooms. We really don't want to add a great deal of anxiety to our students, our staff, our families, and we really want to be supportive. You go to my favorite character and then you press ESL support. Tuesday was the first day of non-traditional instruction, or NTI, for students in Jefferson okay, County so Public Schools. The district spent several weeks preparing the program, which includes virtual curriculum and take-home packets. Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio says it's not an ideal situation for an urban school district that has more than 100,000 students. The digital divide that we have with our students, so the amount of students who don't have access uh, to a laptop, a Chromebook, an iPad at home, or connectivity to Wi-Fi. The district has tried to bridge that divide by loaning 20,000 Chromebooks to low-income families as well as ESL and disabled students. JCPS has instructed teachers to be flexible with deadlines. Some students might be working from 9 to noon. Some might be working in the late afternoon into the evening hours. Some might be working on the weekends. JCPS has provided instructional material and lessons, but teachers are also being encouraged to create their own content and interact with students as much as possible. We want our teachers to be innovative, take risks, think about ways that uh, they can really continue on with their learning. Polio believes it's unlikely students will be able to return to the classroom this school year. He hopes JCPS can provide summer learning for students who may struggle, but says it'll be up to the district to make sure kids get back on track come fall. Well, we're really going to have to be intentional of identifying kids that may have not had the supports they need from March to August and be very intentional about helping them. Denny Camper, WLKY News.